Hello, it's good to be with you again. Two weeks ago on the YouTube service, in the craft space, there wasn't a craft, and you played a game where objects were placed on the table and then they were covered and you had to remember or guess what it was that had been present and what it was that was taken away. I did terribly. But it made me think again of that as I was preparing for today because I'm going to suggest some objects that form this story and it may give you a way of reflecting on and thinking about it as we go. We've had the reading, the story of Ruth. And the first object I'm going to put on the table, well, I might put two, would be an empty tin and an empty purse. Naomi returns home to Bethlehem where she was born, but where she'd left years before during a famine. And she returns with her daughter-in-law and they're both widows and they're as poor as church mice and life is really pretty tough. So there's hunger, a hunger for resource, a hunger for a home, a hunger for food. And then I'm going to put a second object on the table and you've heard the reading, so perhaps you can have a guess what you think might come next. But I'm going to put a bag of flour there because they come home at harvest time. Not harvest of wheat, which is what we mostly eat, but a harvest of barley, which was the staple for bread. And you may remember the loaves and fishes story with Jesus, his barley loaves that he gets presented with. There's hard work. There's a harvest that's the gift of the creation, it's the gift of the weather, and it's the gift of skilled farmers, and they're hard at work, and there's life's got a purpose. And that will have seemed really different to Naomi and to Ruth. And then a third object, a piece of fabric, quite large, what we might say a, a meter square. And why is that important? In the communities of Israel, at harvest time, the farmers were obliged by God's teaching not to pick up every piece, not to go to every corner, but to let some of the crop fall to the ground. And the poor could come, not with a basket, but with a piece of cloth, and they could gather food at least for a few weeks, but they'd not be sure where it goes. Naomi is too old, but Ruth, the daughter-in-law, goes and works in the field. And unknown to her, she's working in the fields of a man called Boaz, who is a distant relative of Naomi. And he knows the story of that she's come back with Ruth and Naomi. And he tells his workers to drop more product on the floor, that they eat well, that they've got resource. So the story so far, we've got three objects on the table. We've got an empty tin, we've got a bag of flour, and we've got fabric which we can imagine being filled with seed. Hunger, harvest and help. And I'm going to suggest the last piece is about the heart. So supposing you had to find something to put on the table, what would you put there for heart? We might put a box of chocolates or a drawing of a heart or, or would write a kiss. But I really don't think you would normally guess to put a sandal on the table. And yet it is a sign of Boaz's heart, both in affection and care for his relative Naomi and for the woman who was going to become his wife, Ruth. Why on earth did he put a sandal? When Naomi had gone away, someone in the family had taken over responsibility for her husband's fields. And that man really had a bigger responsibility for Naomi than Boaz. So Boaz had to work a deal. And he goes up to the man, he said, oh, you know, Naomi's come back, she needs to be fed. Oh, yes, says the man. Oh, and there's Ruth with her and she needs to be fed. Oh, yes, says the man. Do you want to do that, says Naomi, says Boaz. No, 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 says the man. Would you like to do it? Yes, all right then, says Boaz. And as a sign that the man agrees to this, he takes off his slipper, his sandal, and he puts it on the table, as if to say, I used to stand on that field, but now you can. Now, Boaz had another plan of the heart, and that was to marry Ruth, which he does, and there's great celebration in the community. There's an ending. The story of Ruth is about love, 
but it's also about justice. And a true harvest is about giving to those we need and caring for each other, but it's also seeing justice for those in need. And that's why the shoe boxes and the food bank are part of our harvest, not just celebrating what we've got, but where it goes. Two weeks ago, as well as playing the memory game, Sandy, my wife, read, really out of season, Luke 2, 1 to 7, which is the story of Jesus arriving at Bethlehem, coming home. And Bethlehem means he's come back to Ruth's place. And in fact, Ruth is something like four or five greats, his grandmother. And they all have roots in Bethlehem, which means house of bread. Beth means house. Ruth discovered a house of bread where she could be fed. Jesus offers us a house of bread where we can be nurtured in faith, where justice and love and care for each other can be celebrated in the harvest. You might like to put together the symbols on the table to think about harvest and how we celebrate receiving, but how we can share it as well really good to speak to you. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.